What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode of How to Thursday, I'm going to teach you guys how to match your photos using Darktable. And this is the picture that we will be editing today. This picture has been taken during the fall and I want it to look like the picture over here, which is a winter-like picture. As you can see, the dominant colors are red and a little bit of gray and black. It's a very contrasty picture and this picture isn't. So let's get to it. What we need to do first is we need to go to the picture that we want to use as a reference picture. So make sure you have opened that in dark table as well. And then you go to the color mapping menu. And what you need to do right now is because this is your reference picture or your source picture, you want the colors to appear over here. So you're going to press acquire as source. And now the colors are over here. The most dominant ones are on the left side and the least dominant ones are on the right side. If you don't see the color mapping menu, please go to more modules and find it in the list down below and it will pop up over here. Usually when I edit the picture, I put all the things that I need into the favorites menu so it's easier to edit the picture. So let's get back to the color mapping menu. And now what we need to do is we need to make sure that these colors are being transferred to this picture. So right now I want this to be the target image. So I need to put the colors over here by hitting the acquire as target button. And now you see it has changed a lot. It has changed drastically. The picture isn't looking very good just yet. And if you can see there's a lot of difference between this picture and this picture. Luckily Darktable has the opportunity to increase or decrease some of the things that you've applied to this picture. So let's start with that. We're going to start with the color dominance. And because I want it to be a little bit warmer, I'm going to drop it below 50%. This looks good, I think. And for the histogram equalization, I'm going to push it up just a little bit because this is what happens. You darken it and the other way around, it, you're making it lighter. So I'm going to push it up just a tad bit to give it a darker feeling. And now that's done, we need to do a couple of other things. One of the things is we need to go to the base curve menu and let's add some contrast by dropping the shadows like this and I also want to enhance the colors so I'm going to the contrast brightness and saturation menu I'm going to increase the saturation by 12 and now the colors are popping a little bit more so it's a little bit warmer and there's one more thing left for me that I want to do, which is change the white balance a little bit. I want to cool down the image and I'm going to do that by decreasing the temperature. Not too much, just a little. Because this is what happens if you put it to the left. This is what happens if you put it to the right. So it was somewhere around 6500. So I want to drop it down just a notch. Just to cool it down some more. And now if we look back at our source picture, you see that it's basically using the same color palette as this picture is using. It's still crushing the blacks a little bit over here. And we are here too, so that's nice. And the overall feeling of this picture is the same as this picture. Obviously this picture is taken in a city during the winter. And this picture is artificially taken in the winter. And it's a different setting, so it will never be exactly the same. But if you put this picture in your Instagram feed together with this picture, people can tell it's the same style and it will complement this picture on your Instagram feed. So let's check the before and after. Let's take a snapshot of the picture right now. And we're going back to the original one. And there you have it. This is the original one shot during the fall with lots of green in it and warm colors. And now we've transformed it into a much cooler image using more winter like colors and we've also added some contrast to the picture to make it pop just a bit more and that's it that's how you match your photos using dark table so now if you upload your photos to instagram with the same type of look everybody will think that that's your way of expressing yourself i'm a very big fan of those 
obviously it can change throughout the year in the fall it will have some nice and warm colors in the summer it will have more yellow and green and for the winter it will be a more cool like feeling like this but let me know what you think of this tutorial drop a comment down below i'm very curious and there's just one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button consider subscribing if you like what you saw hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when i drop a new video and until next time doei